All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone to teach and rule well. Peace, love, citations to the hopeful of with 144,000. The rest of the one third and the great and number multitude that consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. <clears throat> I'm the brother Ha'amayan from the Great Millstone, Columbia, Georgia Church, and I brought desire to be an edifying lesson. And I titled it, It Shall Bring Thee More Profit Than Gold, which stems from a precept that I'm about to get. Because by us being teachers, you know, prophets, preaching the Lord's word, it's very important that we stay in this thing. Lord willing, we be predestinated to be the elect, man, because it's all about predestination. So let's get on. Um, Sirach chapter 29, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach chapter 29 and verse 11. It says, lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Because it's a reward for preaching this word and also being a part of the elect, you know, preaching 100 percent doctrine and enduring to the end. It's a reward for doing that, man. OK, we're going to be saved, man. Abaratazai, by having that faith. You know, believing, having that, having that fear towards Yahweh by Shema Shai. Because there's a lot of men that done put their hand to the plow and they look back. And that, that pisses the Lord off. Because now you're going to receive judgment for that. Because you didn't come up the right way. Ultimately, you wasn't a part of this thing. And that behooves us, like myself, making this lesson to have more fear. Because that's scary, man. You don't want that part. You don't want, you don't want that, you know. I know myself. I don't want that because why? I'm nothing without Yahweh by Shema I know that, you know. I believe that. I believe that I'm nothing without the Lord, man. We need Yahweh by Shema Shah. So next precept, you know, get straight to the point. Um, Luke chapter nine. Luke chapter nine. Let's go to verse. Start at verse. 57. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. Now that make you think about that scripture uh, um, bearing your cross, denying yourselves to be a disciple of Yahweh, you know, you got to follow the Lord, man. And that comes with suffering. It comes with fighting spirits, spiritual wickedness in high places, but it's also for a reward. That's why you got to have your eyes on the prize, man, looking at the bigger picture, setting your affection on things above. Luke 9, 58, And Yahweh said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere, have not where to lay his head. And he said to another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yahweh Shai said unto him, let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. So being a prophet, you have a job. Being a teacher, man, a preacher, you got to preach, man. We go through things, man. Of course, we feel some type of way at times, but it's not your job to act on those emotions and become emotional and look back and take your hand out the plow and make it about you. This ain't your will. This is how about Shema Sha will, man. Hey, and Lord willing, we endure. You know, because it's a lot of tests that's that it's a lot of tests that lies ahead of us, man. You know, the MOTB, betrayal, Jacob's trouble. We're not exempt from Jacob's trouble. But Lord willing, we endure to the end, man. So we can receive a reward, that crown, be changed, and meet our Lord, man. It's a reward. You know, but you got people that don't, they don't, they don't have that faith. They don't have that fear towards Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. 
Luke 9 and 61. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Because when you, when you put your hand to the plow, when you get involved in this work, this ministry, this truth, that's what you signed up for. This ain't about, this ain't no retirement. This ain't for, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this for this long, then this don't happen. No, you ain't fully persuaded then. You don't know what you're a part of, man. This is serious, man. And the Lord is asking us to do simple things. Like the Ra'ash of our camp, the head always pushes, man. The Lord don't, it's not, his commandments are not grievous, man. Next precept. Let's get on. Um, Hebrews chapter 10, starting at verse 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. That's why you got to be persistent in this thing, man. Firmly holding on to this truth. It's like you. Because you, you, you get, you're going to get rewarded for it, man. For you have need of patience. Patience goes into suffering. Let's go into it and see. Let's go into that word. Strong's G, 5281. Upamane. Upamane. It says steadfastness, constancy, and endurance. Okay. So endurance, what, what you enduring, man? All the trials and tribulations we're about to undergo. You know? It says in the NT, the <clears throat> characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials and sufferings. See, it's about sufferings. This thing is about suffering, man. Going through hardships, but that's why the scripture just said, cast not away there for your confidence, you know? Because you, you, you're going to have, when you're in this truth and you have the names of Yahweh Bashem Shai, the Lord gives you the Rechach Dash, and with that you have faith, hope, Hebrews 10, verse 36, again, for you have need of patience that after you have done the will of the Most High, you might receive the promise. Abba Ratazah, man. We could be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah Mashayat for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Yahweh Shah is on his way. Now the just shall live by faith, the hopeful elect. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. And that's scary, man. That, that's scary. That's, that's hey, that's why we got to finish. We got to, scripture say, um, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know? So you got to count the cost. We got to finish, man. And that's why we got to take it day by day and apply the basics, man. Apply the, the scriptures. It's not about knowing all that, man. It's about living what you know. You know, having that understanding, applying it, man. That's why wisdom is beautiful, man, because those that know, they apply. That's that understanding. He Hebrews 10 and 39, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, destruction, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul, man. So we, we hope that the Lord has it. I myself, making this lesson, I make it, you know. And do all I got to keep that fear, keep that faith, and pray for that, man. You know? Next precept. Sirach chapter 21. I want to say I had 21. Yeah. Sirach chapter 21. And verse 18. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. And the knowledge of the unwise is as taught without sense. So look how these people who fell out and not, you know, counting the cost and didn't finish. That that wisdom don't mean none of them no more, man. The wisdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. They don't care about faith no more. And guess what? We're not concerned about them. But 
we have as a as a a, a prophet's duty, we have to occupy till he come. We have to stay in this thing, be occupied in prophecy. Okay, because a lot is about to come down the pipe, man, and we want to be in that state of mind, knowing that we gave it our all. We fought that good fight, man, by being brotherly, loving our neighbors, thyself, charitable, honest, contrite, and and staying that that you know a repeating the same thing, man, living the truth out to the best of your ability, man, being merciful. Um, last precept, Sirach 26 and verse 28. <clears throat> and Lord, wouldn't this be edifying? There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third make of me angry, a man of war that suffer of poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that return of, from righteousness to sin. A... Hey, he that shall let me grab that precept. Uh congre, congregation. Let me, yeah. I want to say it's in Proverbs. Um Yep. The man Proverbs 21 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. So you going right back to the them seven spirits, which seven is a completion. Hey, I don't want that lot. Hey, Lord willing, the Lord keep us in this thing to to receive a crown, man, to get rewarded. Because the scripture just said, the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So your works won't be remembered, man. All of that, however long you was in this thing, it ain't even counted for. Sirach twenty six, finishing out verse twenty eight. It says, and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returneth from righteousness to sin, the Lord prepareth such and one for the sword. And that ultimate sword is that fire. So, hey, understand what this is about. Me as a babe, young man, in this truth, this is deadly serious. And the Lord has a reward for those that endure to the end. Okay? So, um, i close out with that. I think that James... James chapter 1, verse 12. Yep, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord have promised to them that love him, because the Lord is not a liar. Head of our camp pushes that, man. And the brothers in our church, we know, hey, we hey, he can't lie, he won't lie, he don't lie. And that's something you got to believe, man. He shall receive the crown of life. Which the Lord have promised to them that love him. So Abarathus Zadis was an edifying lesson to the Lord is let. <clears throat> Sincere believers, man, hopeful elect. I would like to close out by giving our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone that teach a rule well. Peace, love, sight, to the hopeful elect. Shalom.